Hi, this is Martin for Revelation Software and welcome to the next video in my series looking at getting started with Open Insight. In this video we will be taking a look at the OI Forms Designer and in particular creating a data aware form using the patient table that we built in the previous lesson. Um, I woke up this morning with a horrible head cold and it hasn't got any better as the day has worn on and for this reason I apologise if I stumble, sniff or cough occasionally during the lesson. Uh, the forms designer is a complex part of the tool set and for this reason this lesson is likely to be one of the longest. Maybe O4W will beat this one, we'll see when we get to that one later. However I suggest putting the kettle on, grabbing a mug of coffee and simply watch through this lesson before running through it more slowly using the pause button later. Like with the table builder lesson, I'll begin with a short PowerPoint presentation that will provide you with some background information, um, some forms designer terminology, etc. So feel free to fast forward to where I open up the tool set if you're familiar with working with or developing Windows GUI forms. There are many different types of windows that make up an application and we'll explore some of these over the coming lessons. For this lesson though we'll concentrate on one of the more common windows and that is a data aware window that has entities with hooks into our patient data table. As with the table builder Open Insights Forms Designer is one of the product's primary tools and it enables developers to quickly and easily build Open Insight forms and their components without having to write code or certainly without having to write lots and lots of code. The Forms Designer also provides tools for using, writing and editing that code, be it code already written and available to the developer or the developer's own custom code. When a developer begins to plan an application, careful consideration should be given to the user interface, as this is what the users will interact with on a daily basis, therefore it needs to be easy to navigate, easy to use and above all, it should work with the user and not overcomplicate things. Before beginning work on the user interface, consideration should therefore be given to planning what controls, processes and data are needed for each Open Insight form. Creating a logical and user friendly layout for controls on the forms. Uh, also understanding which events are likely to be triggered by the form and also by the user working with controls on the form. Determining how the application's forms and controls will respond to different events being triggered by the application itself or by the user. And also by creating or reusing programming code that governs the behavior of each Open Insight form control and process within the application. We will cover some of the specific terms used when discussing the forms designer. Not all of these terms will be used during this lesson, but from a background understanding it's worthwhile just running through those now. So the first is data source and this refers to the source of the data being used and updated by the form. This includes but it's not limited to Open Insight's own linear hash data, the native tables, and also third-party data sources such as SQL, Oracle, PIC, datasets uh, or none where the form has no data association. A control is a graphical entity on the form these consist of edit lines, combo boxes, tick boxes, buttons and more. Each Open Insight control has a property sheet associated with it that defines what it looks like, how it behaves, etc. Each control performs specific tasks as designed by the developer. For instance, an edit line captures data entered into the control by the users ready for writing to a specific column in the database. And a button will perform a specific command such as save or reading a row when it's clicked. An Open Insight form is also referred to as a control within the application. As with all other controls, forms have their own property sheet for defining their look as well as invoking events as they're open, closed, etc. The Forms Designer toolbar displays available controls and these are divided into two types. An event is an activity that a control or form recognises. Events can be triggered automatically such as when the form opens or through user interaction such as clicking a button. The response to events is defined by the developer using code or the system store procedures. These store procedures or code are more commonly referred to as event handlers. Event handlers are basic plus programs that execute in response to a specific event. 
Open Insight is already populated with many commonly used events and event handlers or store procedures. An example of this would be a click event that invokes a read event handler that returns the appropriate data to the user in the user interface or the form. Focus refers to the application component, a control or a form that the user is currently interacting with. For instance, an edit line with the cursor in waiting for data to be entered would be referred to as a control with focus. It is important for the developer to understand the concept of focus as Windows applications are often required by the programmer to do something, um, particularly as focus is obtained by a control or as the user moves away from a control. Modal refers to the state of a window when user interaction is required before progressing further. There are usually two types of modal, system modal and application modal. System modal is the state of a window that requires user interaction before the user can interact with any other Windows task. An example of this would be a message box that requires the user to click an OK or close button before doing anything else. Application modal is where the state of a window that requires user interaction before the user can interact with any other window within that current application. So they could go and do some other things in Windows. An example of this would be a dialog box such as one of the preferences windows in Open Insight. A modeless window defines the state of a window which allows the user to interact with other windows before completing the interaction with the modeless window. Modus windows are usually created by another window and can remain open whilst the user interacts with the calling window. An example of this is the Forms Designer which allows the user to switch to other Windows applications while the Form Designer remains open. Open Insight Forms are quite simply a data entry screen, a window or a form. Open Insight Forms provide the user with a friendly user interface through which they can interact with the database, they can read, write, run queries, etc. Open Insight Forms are not restricted to interacting with one database table or data source. The link to the data source, wherever it is located, is usually defined within the Forms Designer as the forms are created. Properties are the defining characteristics of any Open Insight application form or control. And style sheets are used as templates to implement consistent characteristics within all forms and controls throughout the application. There are a number of different types of window or form that you can build using the forms designer. As technology and styles change, more and more standards are created and broken by industry leading professionals. This section looks at some of the usual windows used within an Open Insight application, but others such as HTML interfaces equally apply. So the construct window is simply a form that is being worked on and is currently displayed in the Forms Designer workspace. MDI stands for Multiple Document Interface and MDI frames act as a parent window for MDI client windows that reside in the MDI client area. An example of an MDI frame and child was shown in the intro video where I was using my um, system windows. So you can refer back to that to see how they work. MDI child windows can be viewed in the MDI frame as cascaded, tiled, or the user can simply drag the screens around to suit themselves. The benefit to the developer is that there is only one menu bar and set of buttons for the application. This can also increase the usability of the application as it provides the user with one consistent set of application navigation tools. If an MDI frame was not used, these menus and button bars would need to be included on each of the Open Insight forms. More information regarding MDI frames can be found in the Open Insight Application Development Manual. And if you're planning on using MDI frames, I would suggest spending some time fully understanding those and the concepts uh, with the menus moving around, etc.